Hi, my name is David, and did you know that all the great magicians are called David? Got David Copperfield, David Blaine, David Williamson, David Ung, okay, maybe not me, and David Roth, who we unfortunately lost last weekend. Not to be confused with David Lee Roth, who does magic of his own, but in the music world. Now you probably don't know who David Roth is, but in the magic community, he was a pioneer within the realm of coin magic. You might be thinking, coin magic? That's right, within magic there's lots of different genres and specialties. You've got coin magic, card magic, and so forth, but that's a whole nother video. David Roth specialized in coin magic and he was the best with his routines, constructions, and sleight of hand. And even though I never met him, he seemed like he would have been a fun and warm person to hang out and jam with. So we remember him through the books, videos, and teachings he left behind. And I'm about to perform one of the routines he created and it goes a little something like this. The magician's coin of choice when it comes to magic is the American half dollar. Now the half dollar compared to Australian coin is bigger than the 20 cent coin, but smaller than the 50 cent coin. But at one point in time, there was an Australian coin that was the exact same size as the half dollar. In fact, I'll show you what it looks like. By taking this half dollar and transforming it into an Australian copper penny, which has King George VI on one side and a kangaroo on the other side. I'll show you again with another coin. Take this coin and put it into my hand and give it a squeeze. It transforms into that copper coin. Now this coin was created in 1942, which was a long time ago. So you'd think the coin would be priceless, but in fact, they're quite worthless. Two coins left. This coin I'll transform visually by giving a wave, just like that. Now, copper coin looks pretty dull in the light, I reckon. It's not as shiny as a uh, silver coin in my opinion. Which brings us to the last coin. Watch this coin go from silver to copper, from copper to silver, silver to copper, copper back to silver. And I like silver, so I'll be keeping it like this. In fact, I'm going to take the silver coin, drop it amongst the copper coins and I'll transform them back into silver coins again, making me one happy magician. I really like coin magic, but not a lot of magicians perform it for some reason. Maybe because it's a little hard. Anyways, like this video to show me your support. Leave a comment below about what the most rarest coin is in your collection. And subscribe to this channel if you've ever seen a kangaroo or want to fight one. Until next time, remember your loved ones and have a magical day. Cool, my favorite thing about this cup is that happy Spider-Man. Sad Spider-Man. Happy Spider-Man. Sad Spider-Man.